Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to do a new game here. Uh, I decided I am going to do a full playthrough. Uh, I know, you know, this game's old and everything. And I just went through with my uh, Dexterity Faith build. I thought, since I usually... Uh, sorry, I just ate lunch. Uh, I, I redid my, my dex build, and I don't think I'm going to redo my mage build. And it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, not sure if I want to do a quality mage or, or a strength mage. But strength scaling, I know a few weapons that would work really well. Probably going to go in that direction. Uh... We're just going to call... You know what? Fuck, fuck. I'm so indecisive. I have to call my mage, no matter how many mages I make. Actually, truth be told. Hold on. Well, why not? And then it'll be real. Mage. Mage Brute. Um, Sprinkle is always female. If I'm going to be Strength Mage, I might as well make sense and have strength like a guy would. Uh, I think. Start out as a warrior. And I'm going to raise my intelligence and buy a Catalyst right in the beginning of, of Lordran. So I can do that right away. Uh, usually get the Master Key. I'm not going to go with Power of Thin with this build. Uh, I just don't see a point. Uh, I originally wanted to go with the Longsword for my Mage. But I wanted damage. I wanted, I wanted range damage and actual base damage. I want to have two forms of badass damage. So that's what I'm going to go with. My name is Jamal. And I play b-ball. ba ba bam Looks like an albino, doesn't he? A little bit. Well, that's an albino. Holy shit. We're gonna go commoner. Oh, excuse me, guys. I just I just ate a bunch of Subway, and I am fat as fuck. Fat as fuck. Alright. So, we're just gonna... We're gonna obviously skip stuff like this that we know about. Let's play through... This isn't about sharing lore, because we all know the lore. Um, I forget lore sometimes. I mean, this game is so big with 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 story, it's ridiculous. So I like going on to like E and B's sites, uh, or site is is YouTube channel and and Vati as well for the, their lore videos and to refresh me once in a while. It's interesting almost every time I watch their videos. It's fantastic. All right, so. We are going to be a mage brute. Of course, we're going to start out as a warrior who's going to learn magic. I like it that way. That way I can start out with some base damage. Uh, starting class ma uh, sorcerer is very difficult. So if you don't plan on being pure sorcery, I don't see a point myself, personally, if I, I, the way I play, to start out as a sorcerer. There's just, just no way. There's no reason for, for it. So I just choose warrior. That way I have a weapon. Start it out. La la la. Um, I'm not gonna raise strength that much. I still worry about my spells, but since uh, the maxed out weapon I'm thinking of is gonna have an A scaling, so even a little bit of strength will help. It's just backup damage, if anything, you know. And I got New Game Plus to really develop the rest of my character. So at that point, it's not about PVE. PVE is always New Game Regular, you know. So let's face it, when you level your armor in this game and level your weapons, you're pretty much unstoppable if you know what you're doing. I honestly think that's why I like it better than uh, Dark Souls 1, because e or Dark Souls 2. Uh, Dark Souls 2 seems to have later parts that no matter how much how leveled your armor is, like the Drake Keepers and Dragon Airy, just ridiculous damage output, let alone 
the fuckers with the hammers can do a three three hit combo and then like wind up instantly and start doing it again. There's like no recovery time for the AI, and that pisses me off a little. As for this game, there's a few cheat moments where some enemies can hit you while you're down, and some enemies set up a uh, a move while you're trying to get up and you're helpless. I mean, there's a few moments where I want to throw the controller, but it's Dark Souls. If you're not enraged by, at least for some reason, on a daily basis, then, then, then don't play Dark Souls. <laughs> Accept it. Alright. Before I forget, I should have mentioned it already. This run is brought to you by probably my favorite Dark Souls community page on Facebook. Dark Souls Discussion. This whole, uh, this whole, uh, playthrough is going to be sponsored by them. They're going to help me share my videos and I'm going to hopefully try to get their uh, page some attention depending on who watches these videos. So for as long as Dark Souls will be around, they will be around. There's a few admins that I know of. The, uh, they're really awesome. They're almost always available to talk and uh, it's just, it, it, you got a question, they'll answer it. You have, you know, anything to discuss, they'll discuss it with you. They're really awesome guys. So, hey guys, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy your sponsor playthrough here. It's going to be fun. All right, so, inward we go. Hey, dude. Whoops. <laughs> Not exactly what I wanted to do. Whoopsies. All right. Come on, asshole. Boosh. Boosh. I do like the long sword. Yay, fat ass is done. Done, bitch. Done. I'm definitely gonna have to raise my endurance a little. Uh, I worry about, in the, in the long scheme of things, having my uh, intelligence to 44. I'm not s certain I'm gonna get to that uh, new game regular, but I can only try. So I gotta worry about my strength now a little bit, at least a little bit. My endurance, health, attunement. Oh, I don't know why I decided to do this. I could have just went quality, but uh, what can I say? I'm a fucking masochist. I'm in a central time zone in North America. It's 2.40 already. Uh, I slept in like a motherfucker today. Got really drunk last night. I feel great today, man. I'm ready to go. So we are going to start things off somewhat the way I always do with a new build. Uh, thankfully, with the weapon I have in mind, I don't have to worry about farming large Titanite shards in the swamp. Um, with my Lucerne build, I did. And let me tell you... A plus 15 weapon against fucking, uh, against Quailog is like almost 500 damage per hit, what I was doing. So that was fantastic. So I get the Homeward Bones right away, because I am going to be a sneaky asshole and try to get the first Firekeeper Soul so I can get my Estus upgraded right away. I suppose I'll get these Talismans. I think I've noticed that tree before, but I never really analyzed it. Look at the color changing when the camera pans up. Blue, purple, white. Huh. The lighting effects and coloration is pretty interesting in this game. Let's see. The doorway down to the... Hmm. Anyway. Fuck you, Skell. Skelly man. Skelly bitch. Oh my god, that was great. Gotta love this game, man. Sometimes you can really exploit the AI, and it's fucking hilarious. So I'm going to... I don't know how much a catalyst is, but I'm gonna go buy it right away. I definitely like, uh... 
Logan's Catalyst the best. For best spell damage without sacrificing s spell uses. Like the, uh, the, what was it, the Crystal Tin or whatever the fuck it is, the Tin? Yeah. I like Logan's Catalyst. Since it's a brute mage, we're not, I mean, mage damage is one thing, but we can also have the Sorcery Ring. Uh, the problem with this build is leveling it. I'm gonna waste so many souls buying shit. It's gonna be a hindrance on my leveling. But, uh, we're gonna try to do as best we can, really. I can believe it, buddy. But no, uh... There's only a few moments where I'm, I'm gonna have enough souls to buy advanced spells. And with Logan's side quest... It's not like it goes away anytime soon. It's not like the Faith side quest where you gotta make sure you buy her spells before fucking dumbass up there kills her. Uh, you can just take your time with the Mage side quest. It's pretty much pretty fun actually. Okay. Nope. Whoop. Wrong one. Thank you. Can't afford any of that. I wish you sold uh, Titanite Shards. You'd be more useful. Yeah, you can, you, you can farm as many Undead Warriors as you want. They do drop Titanite Shards, but I also recommend having Soft Humanity active, you know. s talk. Thank you. So we are going to get the very first Firekeeper Soul. Hey. Thanks for that, pal. You know, I should be burnt out by this game. But now that I went back to Dark Souls 1 and really tweaked my builds, I've been having so much fucking fun. It is stupid. I haven't loaded up Dark Souls 2 in about a month. I don't care. I, I loaded up for PvP. As for PvE, it frustrates me more than Dark Souls 1 ever can. Uh, when I, and that's why I come back to this for PvE. Boom! And that's how you do that! Plus one Estus, right away, right off the fucking... Right off the bat, yo. I got, got a few Mountain Dews in me as well. Got some energy today. Ready to just fucking play Dark Souls for you guys. I'm in a great mood. Great mood. Probably because I don't have to work. That'll help anybody out, you know? Hey, bitch. Do stuff for me. Thank you. Such an asshole. Hey, bitch! Do stuff! Fuck you! Yeah! Naked chick in the fire. You're gonna burn your vagina, bitch. Mind those flames. So... What to do? Do I ha- Okay. Just gonna go now. We got this. Oh, Christ. What is my intelligence? Nine. Gotta make sure to raise that, otherwise I won't be able to interact with, uh, I forgot his name. But yeah, the mage dude that's caught in the undead bird lore. Eat shit. Fuck you! Ow. And of course, over here is the Ring of Sacrifice. I get it right away, just because you need it later on, just so I don't forget. Because the one that's in the Painted World, I se seem to always just not care about. I just go right past it. Is that right, bitch? See ya. See ya. No need to hurt my sword. Okay. My girlfriend's dog is like looking at me. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. 
probably has to go OUT. I don't have time for that. At least not right now. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Fucking tool. Hello, rat. You got any humanity for me? Nah, of course not. It's technically... I think it's labeled as a rare drop for the rats, but not that bad. Especially when you have the gold serpent ring with maybe five active humanity. You can farm that shit till the fucking the end of time, yo. No, 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 no. You go to hell. Oh, my girlfriend's dog hit my record box and my component cables have, I think, have shortened them. I'm hopefully, I'm, I'm trying to get him away from it, but he's not fucking listening. All right, come here, Dobie. Come here. No, no, no. Stay. Sorry about that. He's about to walk on the wires. That's a, you gotta stay right here for now, okay? Something on your nose. Hey, what's something on your nose. Come here. He's such a silly fucker. All right, sorry about that. Add some personality to this uh, playthrough here. I'm gonna do about our our episodes. Uh, I just want to play. I don't want to worry about half hours. I don't want to worry about uh. Uh, processing, you know, 30 videos. I mean, I was fine. I just have to find time to process. Uh, I probably won't add an intro or anything, just so we can get right to the action. Uh, thumbnails, of course. All that happy good jazz. Ooh, shit. Twofer. Nope, not a twofer. Oh, you fucking crossbow guy. Uh, wooden shield I might actually pick up. Hey. I gotta go down here and purchase the residence key. Uh, the small bowl because I want to do the shortcut. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to waste some money on a small bowl just to do that. Eat it. You got a shard for me? Nope, just armor. Uh, no. For some reason, I like that. The way the boxes hide the stairs. Something about it I like when it comes to design. It's really awesome. You have the Uchi Katana, but I don't need that. You are a welcome customer. I pray for soul. <laughs> <laughs> So you have this, this, I might pick up some, all right, yep. nothing else, club, these clubs are pretty fun actually, but thank you, kind. don't need you, thank you, thank you sir, thank you. Watch out right, guys. <laughs> uh, perfect. Weakness. Any of them? <laughs> it, it, it applies to the boxes. <laughs> Uh, I usually don't write messages, but eh, it's fun once in a while. So here we go with this bonfire. I'm not. I don't want to use my soul pickups on on leveling because I want to use that for like purchasing titanite shards and stuff, you know. So we're not. We're gonna do that. 
Ow. Eat shit. Eat balls in your face. Now this could get a little tricky. Backstab. For anyone that it has trouble at this part, this guy's programmed hot. He's programmed to not y even keep guard. He's always swinging. He's always coming at you. Parry him. Just fucking parry his ass down. Yeah. What of it? We're going to have fun with the Taurus Demon, actually. I'm not going to do the drop-in attack. We're just going to... I think I feel... I feel... Like cheesing him with black fire bombs. Anybody? <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do. I like to change up how I uh, fight bosses once in a while, just for the f sake of fun. And I think that's why I like Dark Souls One bosses over Dark Souls Two. There's n there's a lot of lack of player interpretation to technique in bosses. There's too much one way to do it, one way to do it. And I know it's not necessarily always true. It just feels like more the case. Uh, like, especially with Velstat. Just avoid his attack, avoid his attack. It's, it's just not fun. Like, like here you can take on the Taurus Demon in a lot of ways. And I, 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 I was told it's also optional. I don't know how to skip this fight. But that's okay. I like fighting him. I don't care. And, th and and these guys are programmed to be hot as well. Those those two right there. Every single time. Uh no. Hey, spear guy. Fuck you. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. I like the R2 combo there. Stab and then, you know, upper hand uh, swipe. La la la, hey dude, you have no idea I'm behind you. But that's okay, you're gonna die. Hopefully. This is gonna take a while, but I do this every time. Every single time. Come on. Give me your goodies. Bitch. Shield bash into a sword stab. Oh god. Come on now. Where's the challenge? What are you, what are you doing? Okay, and I open my mouth. A little bit too early there. <laughs> so it happens when you run your fucking mouth. That was a little delayed. Bring it, you fuck. Oh, I almost fucked that up, didn't I? <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. That's that's a good, that's a good find. I personally, this is gonna sound weird. I level my armor to a minimal point because I prefer fancier armor that re requires twinkling titanite. Because farming for that is more productive in my point because the clams in the crystal cave are worth quite a bit. So you do item drop and soul drop rings the gold and silver uh, serpent rings and you can grind for souls and tw twinkling and once it starts rolling they drop a lot of twinkling man real quick and I I just prefer doing that getting some good gear even some good cloth armor like my faith build has the Xanath set two pieces of that and, it, and it's fantastic and it, I prefer grinding in that one spot and that takes am I putting less time than Titanite for weapons, I like I like my 
titanite weapons. I don't like boss weapons too much, personally. Like that, two twinkling and two chunks. Boom, right off the bat. When I first played Dark Souls, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, t uh, the crystal lizards confused me. Then I found out what they were. And then they enjoyed the fucking shit out of me because I couldn't, you know, I didn't, I, I didn't find good ways to, you know, take them out. But when you play this game, you know, almost four years straight now, you're with me on this, right, community? Everyone just loves this game. Everyone knows this game. It's just fun. Just straight up, man. So, okay. These fire bombs, these black ones, do a lot of damage to this motherfucker. Oh, I missed. Not bad. Although, early in the game, 181, there's a lot of damage. Come on, bitch. My sword does jack shit. Aww. Too early. Eat shit, fucker. <laughs> and now we do the drop attack. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Whoa, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. I'm goofing off. Oh, that shockwave. AOE, bitch. Be told I like goofing off with that fight once in a while. When I when I usually do a playthrough, I like to just make sure I get it done and use a, a pine resin and just tear it up. I figured all I have is a long sword. The damage is gonna be minimal anyways. Let's have fun with it. And I just destroy those boxes. Woo! Dragon Bridge, Dragon Bridge. Hey asshole. <laughs> oh, Solaire, my best friend in the world. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. You don't say. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? No need to hide it. It's very strange. Oh, I have. Yep. The way. Yep. It's sleep. And up. Uh. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Try comfort, bitch. Invest in a pillow, motherfucker. Um, I did do something differently that I usually do for souls. Is I run it to the swamp right away to pick up. Uh, to pick up the large uh, souls of the proud knight. I didn't do it this time because. I don't care. 
crank up that int. Alright, we're gonna need some souls for leveling this weapon. Because I want this at least a plus five, so. Uh, since since we're gonna go right to Quaylog, that's gonna be a tough fight. I'm hoping there's gonna be some summons available, because uh, plus five longsword? Yeah, about that. Uh, I will at that point, however, have some magic. Because we're going to have fun with with that. Eat it, bitch. Survived it? Oh, shit. I suppose it is just a longsword. I wanted to do a longsword build, but I can't find the want to because, God, it's going to be such low damage. But... I suppose if, as long as you get like 40 strength and 40 dex to that C scaling, maybe. Shit. What I thought about doing is using uh, some faith, some miracles with it, but I seem to have a fucking issue with having, this is my faith build, no other build can use miracles, and this is my mage build, no other build can use magic. I'm trying to get over that because let's face it, it's kind of dumb. But so I was gonna do sunlight blade at most with the long sword, and and that's about it. Up to 30, 30 uh, uh, faith, which will leave a lot of room for other stats. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna exactly 100% sure on that one, but oh shit. <laughs> I was looking at the mic talking instead of looking at the screen walking. Yeah! First death! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not even embarrassed. That was, that was fucking hilarious. That's okay, though. Nice tail, brah. Nice tail. I usually like to go and provoke the dragon for those souls if I die, so I can get kind of something. You know, if I have to die, at least I can get a little bit extra souls, you know. So there you go. Did that with my eyes closed. All I do is fuel for, fuel for the black. Attack. Yep. I, as, as for the rats and the dogs... In this game, I think they're programmed like shit. Not exactly that they didn't know what they were doing. They purposely programmed them to be vicious fucking motherfuckers. Like, unless you, unless you block their attack, they'll keep coming at you. Well, you know how many times I've swung after I blocked and they dodge it. My attack every time. Oh, the gate is closed. Well, I fucked that one up, didn't I? <laughs> you think so? You guys can go fuck yourselves. La la la. Sea of assholes. 
Don't want to die. Too early. Fuck. Oh. Uh, it's called paying attention. I should probably do it. Can someone ask me why? A. What's the purpose of this cubby hole? Type area. And B. Why is there a picnic table here? Weirdos. People who made this castle are fucking weird, yo. Fuck undead burg motherfuckers. Ooh, shit. Balancing act. Look at you hollows go. <laughs> Coming through. Excuse me. <laughs> he killed himself. Oh shit. Actually having fun with this so far. <laughs> Ugh. So what are we at here? Thirty six minutes? Sweet. Excuse me. Come through. Fuck you. Eat shit. Taking a drink. Before I die. Cause he might kill me. I'm not the greatest at pairing these guys. They're little assholes. Whew, made up for that missed backstab. Don't you fucking play games with me. Oh, I got one. That's what I thought. <laughs> Holy shit, he swung early. Right, there's the Hellbred down there. Simply, it's 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 a Hellbred. You know, uh, I suppose it's just being a little anecdotal, but there's other weapons that are Hellbred class. I, I, if that's the class type of a weapon... Why would you name one a Hellbred? Unless that's just a default design, you know? That's just weird to me. I don't know why I'm looking at it that way. Eat shit, eat shit, eat shit. Oh! Another one! I'm not good at parrying those guys. There's just something about them. Yep. We actually got some preparation here before uh, before fighting the gargoyles. Uh, Want to get some magic going here? Shut up! Go down! Urgh. Weak ass long sword, you know. I don't care. Well, well. What you got? Staggered you with the longsword, bitch. Fuck off. And we got another Firekeeper Soul. So, that makes two a plus two Estus. Truth be told, as much as I know you go up to plus seven, I don't worry about Estus so much. All I need is a plus three Estus for the whole game. I I, I don't care. It's, it's health, you know. 
And from the plus three you get, most enemies will hit for that much. Maybe a little more, but... I could give a fuck less. Really. The whole object is to not get hit anyway, so... Can I just go in there now and get my weapon? Please? So we are going to upgrade my long sword to plus five. Well, I'm sure, I'll learn your gesture. Hurrah! Most weapons are not I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Go back. There you go. Now I can. Use some of these motherfuckers. Oh, jeez. What a fucking snore. What a fucking snore. It's a little boring, but... Alright. Come on. Not enough souls to level the plus. Uh, I won't. That's that's fine. It's it's honestly in beginning levels uh, of this game. It's hard to balance souls for equipment and leveling. Uh, you eventually get to the point where like I know exactly what I need to do. You know. Uh, personally, I worry about damage output until I get the weapons and gear I want. So it's going to be a balancing act. And plus for my mage, spells are so expensive. Like I said, it's going to be a bitch to try and level but purchase everything. All the spells that Logan sells in the Duke's Archives is 100,000 itself. At that point in time, that's maybe four levels. It's kind of a big deal, you know. So... Oh, I know what I've got to go do. I didn't get the basement key. That was my next destination. Of course, I don't think I have any souls to purchase that. Uh, tell you what. Ugh. Go get the key. Because what I sh well, leveling up the weapon was important. But if I'm going to try to get magic early on, how am I going to afford it? Hmm. Don't know. You're dead. Side sword. Nope. Hellbrid. Don't bait that asshole. Here we go. It's not a bad quality weapon. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't fucking know. So we are going to... Oh shit, did I bait someone? Oh, it's just him. Okay. I was gonna say, I was trying not to. <laughs> I don't have a bowl for you. You're gonna be a pain in my ass. We're going to go down and get my plus two S disc right away. Uh, I still, I think I want to go free the mage dude next time around. Come back to Firelink, check out his prices. I probably won't be able to afford much. I still want to check him out. 
So if I can just early on go through the undead berg, I don't know it's going to be dangerous with my plus whatever longsword here. Still almost base level, a little bit higher, but not by much. Excuse me, come through. Not what I wanted, whoopsie D. That's the fucker that kills Rhea. Dick. Um, I know some people prefer the Nexus for a hub over Firelink. I guess I could see their point and why, but I like Firelink for the simple fact of it's integrated. It's part of the open world that you're exploring. So, I don't know. I, I like Firelink a lot. La 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 la. Rest. And my plus two. Yep. All right. Well, that'll about do her here. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, next we're gonna go save the mage dude. I forgot his name. Uh, I think it's like Greg's or Craig's or Fags or something like that. I think it's Greg with two G's. Is it? I just can't remember every little thing here, but yeah, we're going to save him, check out his prices, and within the next episode, we should, uh, we should fucking, uh, fight the gargoyles. We're going we're gonna to have a hopefully a plus five longsword, but this, uh, the beginning of this game as a battle mage kind of eh, is eh to me. Uh, I, I wasn't a little smart about my souls. I usually have a plus five weapon and I probably would have just fought the gargoyles but I want to get some of my magic going so I'm going to kind of procrastinate a little bit but boosh see y'all later thanks for watching and yeah check out Dark Souls discussion page a bunch of cool guys peace out